Hi guys. Well, Jesus fucking Christ. Y you know, this shit never ends. It's what the difference a fucking day makes. So uh, this time last night, I was here basically sitting here butt and ass naked with the damn fan blowing on me. Now I've got, let's see, a long sleeve shirt, a goose down vest, an Alaska parka, my uh, sheepskin boots on, my poor little baby tomato plants out there. Good God, as we go from summer to winter again. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, thinking, what, what the fuck could happen next? You know, so, so I basically, been, it, it, unbelievable, the, 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 this never-ending tale of this goddamn gas-sucking truck that I uh, hit uh, that tree in my driveway on, uh, on February 15th, still dealing with this shit. Uh, not even going there. Dealing with that all day. So what I did, I can't believe it, uh, for the first time in, well, I know it's since February 27th because that's when the message were in my inbox. So I go on to Pile of Fish. You know, I, I put on this ad uh, about anti-masker anti seeks anti-Trumper and all of this. Uh, if you remember, I put on that ad a couple of weeks ago just assuming no one was going to answer it. So I forgot all about Pile of Fish, pretty much, dealing with all this other shit I'm dealing with. So I go into Pile of Fish, and I have not one, but two women. Uh, <coughs> two women, uh, anti-masker, anti-Trumpers, lefty women who are anti-maskers, uh, attractive, uh, they're not fat. Uh, they're anti-maskers, they're anti-Trumpers, don't know if they're Doomer chicks or not, we haven't gotten there, but anyway, so I'm emailing one of them, and I mentioned my hip camp, so she wants to uh, find out more about my hip camp, you know, what, what, what's a hip camp, so I, uh, I sent her the link. If you want to see pictures of the hip camp, you just go on, just, just Google crazy crane hemp, crazy crane campground hip camp in Florida, and it will, uh, and it'll come up. So I went over there on the page. I, I called up my own page, and I noticed something had changed. See, I have been what's called a super host, that I have a 100% thumbs up rating. So because I have a 100% rating, because I'm such a great guy, and so this is such a great place, I have been labeled a super host, or so I thought. But first I looked under my name, you know, it says host, uh, you know, Sam is your host, and, and I have lost my designation as super host. And I'm going, what the fuck? And uh, so I look and find out that I have gotten a bad review. I have gotten a bad review from someone who camped here. And I'm going, what the fuck are you talking about? I think I have like 12 uh, excellent reviews, but I got my first bad review. And I'm going, who the fuck? gave me a bad review. So I so I start digging around and who it was, I don't even know if you guys remember me mentioning this because it wasn't that big a deal. I had these guys, this young couple come by here uh, a few weeks ago. It might have been over Valentine's Day weekend. But anyway, they they come here and they bring their dog. I, we do allow dogs here at the hip camp. The rule is that 
you, you know, you keep your dog on a leash and then just, you know, tie him up out by your tent. Uh, that's the, the written rule. Uh, they got here with this dog, uh, and he was this big, beautiful German Shepherd is what it was, this, this beautiful dog that they obviously loved this dog. And uh, so, you know, we talked about the dog, and, and I said just, I actually give people this, you know, this thing on the spiral with the tie out. Uh, I, I said, go find your campsite and tie up, you know, keep your dog on the tie out over by your tent. Uh, and, and so that's fine, and obviously there's no dogs allowed in the kitchen, obviously. No dogs allowed in the kitchen, yes. So anyway, so the rules are very simple. Put your fucking dog on the tie out, don't bring your dog in the kitchen. Everything is fine. They're, they're real nice guys, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I was out for the evening anyway. I come back and I, and I go to bed in my camper. You know, Friday night, they were going to stay Friday and Saturday night. So they spend the night here Friday night. Uh, they have a great time. And I get up Saturday morning and I, and I get out of my camper and I look over at the tent. I don't see the dog, but it, you know, it really didn't register because I hadn't had my cup of coffee. They were in the kitchen, here in the kitchen, and I was outside and just kind of talking to, you know, through the screen. You know, they were telling me, you know, how beautiful it was, blah, blah, blah. They were in here uh, eating breakfast and having their coffee and stuff. So here I am on my own fucking property, uh, just, uh, I, I guess I just didn't think about the dog. I, I come up to the kitchen door and I walk in to my own kitchen and the fucking dog, this big ass German shepherd jumps up and, and fucking attacks me. I, I mean, literally attacks me, this dog and, uh, puts the damn fang in the back of my knee. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a what? You know, this dog could have done some serious damage. We're not talking Sancho Panza. You know, we're we're talking fucking White Fang. And, and I, you know, and I slam the goddamn door, and and I go like, what the fuck? I said, you know, I can't believe that your fucking dog just attacked me. And, and I said, what the hell is your dog doing in this kitchen anyway? Uh, you know, I made it clear to you that your dog was not allowed in this kitchen. He was supposed to be out there, and, 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 and these guys, are, are they're like white as a sheet. They're saying, motherfucker, that, uh, that, that they're, it, it, you know, in some deep shit. And, and uh, so they're getting the damn dog calmed down, and I'm trying to fucking calm down. You know, dog bites, they hurt like a motherfucker. You know, those puncture wounds. And this was a big fucking German Shepherd. And uh, so anyway, that was obviously the end of their stay here. So they just said, we, you know, they, I mean, they were apologizing profusely. That This dog has never acted like this. Uh, I have not bitten, the, the last time I was bitten by a dog, I, I think I was like 15 years old was the last time, and you know, I get along better with dogs than I do people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I just don't get bitten by dogs, it, it, it was more a surprise than anything, and, uh, and, and I'm just saying to them, you, you know, I, 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 I said, guys, I said, I said, you better be goddamn glad that it was me that your dog bit. Uh, I, I said, if this had been another hip camper uh, here uh, at, at this hip camp, uh, uh, it, you know, we could we could all be fucked here. We could all be looking at lawyers. You know, I mean, I, I we had a three-year-old girl here the, the the day before they got here. This fucking dog could have killed that kid. And uh, I'm saying, it is, you know, this is just not fucking cool. 
uh, that you need to, you, you know, I told you to keep the fucking dog on a leash and, and, you know, they're apologizing, blah, blah, blah. So they take the, you know, the goddamn dog and they're putting him in the truck and they're packing up their tent. And, and I'm just saying, guys, uh, I said, let's just all use this as a learning experience. You know, anytime you can turn in a, a situation like this into a learning experience. And so I immediately made the, the weight limit on dogs 15 pounds. And I've really got to crack down with people so they know the fucking dog rules. You know, when they get there, so, uh, and, and, and uh, so the guy was going like, you're not, you're not going to call a lawyer, and, and, and I said, no, brother, I said, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, I, I said, I'm going to drop it, uh, you know, as I say, thank God it was me, not somebody else, or you sure as shit would be looking at a lawyer. And, and, and keep that fucking dog on a leash and put a muzzle on him. I, I said, you cannot trust that dog around other... Don't ever take that fucking dog to a hip camp again or where there's going to be people uh, that, 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 you know, he doesn't know. And uh, I, I said, so we've all learned something here today. Oh, yeah, they've learned something. They get in their fucking car and drive away. So what was that? About 17 days ago that happened. And uh, I, I don't hear an, an, another word about it. So, you know, I reported the incident to Hip Camp, and they said, well, Sam, what do you want to do about it? And, and, and I said, I don't want to do anything about it. Uh, I, I said, I'm just making a note. I'm just keeping you guys in the loop that this guy's, uh, that this guy's dog is vicious. And, uh, and, and, he's, and, and this guy has no business uh, taking that dog to hip camps. And uh, they assured me that they were going to, uh, re, you know, read him the damn riot act uh, and, and he, he, to keep this from ever happening again. And I said, fine, that's all I can do. So I dropped it, and, and, and I didn't think a, a word about it. And, and, until tonight, and I and I go all there and find out that this is the fucking son of a bitch, whose dog attacked me, who gave me a bad rating as a host. I am the bad guy in here. Uh, they they the first person ever in history to give me a bad rating, uh, on, and so I lost my super host status. Uh, 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 over this, and, and I and I'm thinking, what the fuck? I, I said this guy has a lot of fucking balls. So I had this little fucker's email, and uh, and you know, so I sent him this very sarcastic email. You know, like thanks a lot, dude. You know, you come here, you bring your fucking vicious dog onto my property. I get bit by your fucking dog. Uh, I, I don't. I, I, I don't call a, a goddamn lawyer. I, I don't send you a, a a doctor bill. Nothing. And this is the fucking thanks I get that you give me. A, uh, a a bad review. Uh, I, I said I really need to decide now. I, I said so. This is the game you're gonna play. I, I, I said okay, brother. I, I need to decide. Uh, you, you know what I am going to do about this. You, you know, suggesting that that I was getting a fucking lawyer. I was fucking pissed off at this little twerp. Uh, giving me a fucking bad review after his after he comes onto my property, breaks all the goddamn rules. His fucking dog attacks me, and I don't do. And he gets off with a pass. You know, uh, he doesn't even get a goddamn slap on the wrist. I'm just hoping we've all learned something from it. So I'm I'm hitting around with the guy. That, uh, that uh, you know, I'm thinking about getting a fucking lawyer. I mean, I'm not. I just wanted him to think that, that I was getting a fucking lawyer. So I send him that email, 
And I get this fucking email uh, back from him five minutes later, and I'm not accusing him, accusing him of lying. So guess what he tells me? That they fucking killed their dog. They fucking euthanized their dog over this incident. That they were uh, so freaked out over it. I, I mean, they obviously loved this dog. This dog loved them. This had never happened before. I, I'm probably what it was is, you know, they were eating breakfast. The three of them were, were sitting over here and around the breakfast table. The dog was lying under the breakfast table. You know, there was food. I walked in on the pack eating and the fucking dog jumped up and, 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 and tagged me. It's the same thing that happened when uh, my dog, I don't know if you remember the story from years ago when my, when my 10 year old Brittany Spaniel uh, attacked the postman on, uh, on dog bite, on the U.S. Postal Service's dog bite awareness day. My little Brittany Spaniel attacked the fucking postman when what he did was, it, 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 what had happened is my roommate had moved Lucy's food to a different place where when the postman we actually had our mail delivered on the porch. When the postman stepped up on the porch, he was stepping between Lucy and her chair over here and her food bowl. I mean, he'd known the dog for six months. But he, 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 he you know, you, you walk in when a, basically, when a wolf is feeding on a, on a dead moose, you walk into that scene, and, and, and the wolf is going to defend their carcass. They, you know, their little their, their little wolf brains just kick in. So the dog w was doing what wolves do. You know, he was defending the carcass that I was a threat uh, to to his pack's food. So anyway, they kill their dog. They, they get him put to sleep. I, I, I had made no report, no complaint to anybody. This dog, and I believe them when I, they tell me that the dog had never in his life done anything like this. They, they were very upset. Uh, you know, they were apologetic to me. It was obvious that they were upset, that the dog was upset. And so now the fucking dog is dead over this. And so now, on, on top of every fucking thing, so I've been bitten by the fucking dog. Uh, I, I, I've, uh, I've gotten a bad review for being a bad host. I've lost my super host status. And now I have the, f I have the fucking guilt of that dead dog. I, I, I have, I have that dead dog's blood on my hands. I, I, you know? It's just like the, 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 this fucking shit that just never fucking ends. And, and now, uh, for the rest of my fucking life, I, I'm going to go around blaming myself for this this dog being killed by their owners. The fucking dog attacks me and I'm the one who ends up feeling guilty. There, 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 there's got to be a fucking short story or, or a novel in here. I, I, I mean, the, the, the levels, the fucking levels of, uh, of, of irony here. Uh, anyway, well, it's Wednesday night, but this is going to count as my goddamn 
depressed collapse of terror. And, 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 and okay, and, and, and all right, and this this is just happened about an hour ago. So this this is how my day started today. Is you know my next door neighbor, who's visiting Texas. So I'm here, you know, watching the place for uh, several weeks. So I get an email from my next door neighbor this morning who's now in Texas. She tells me that her cat is dead. You know, one of these cats that I'm somewhat supposed to be looking out after. And so uh, I, 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 I said, darling, uh, I, I said, I'm sorry your cat is dead, but I'm not surprised. I thought that these goddamn coyotes had killed it. We, we have these coyotes, uh, you know, coming over here. They, they kill a lot of cats and stuff. And so now, and, and so I'm talking to her about these coyotes. And she goes, what the fuck, you know. So now what she has done, she has hired uh, this coyote killer to come over here and uh, where the coyotes are living out in this island. Uh, a, a, about a hundred yards off of the, the 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 lake shore. You know, I'm on the mainland. I'm on a peninsula, and the and these damn coyotes swim over here, and and then you know they knock over the trash cans and all of this stuff. So I thought the coyotes had killed the cats, uh, and so now she has hired this guy who's coming over tomorrow who's going to go over to the island and poison the coyotes. They're probably over there, uh, you know, with their, with their uh, puppies right now. So I ran my fucking mouth about the coyotes. So now I've got the, uh, the uh, I've got a dead German shepherd's blood on my hands, and now I've got this fucking redneck coming over tomorrow probably to take a fucking airboat uh, over to this island to poison that family of coyotes. Oh, fuck. Yes, that was the, the refrigerator is, uh, is on its last legs. But, uh, Guys, there, 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 there is no fucking way to win. You know, thinking about these damn coyotes getting poisoned. Uh, she never would have known about the fucking coyotes uh, if, 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 if I hadn't run my fucking mouth. It sounds like we have a cow in distress. Anyway, get out there and uh, enjoy your coyotes before I kill them. Oh, fuck. What a fucking life.